'twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was doing, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes that Saint Nicholas soon will be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds. My visions of sugar plums danced in our heads. My mama and her kerchief and I, my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out in the lawn there was such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I way to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. On the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow, there were muster a midday to objects below. When once my wandering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. There's a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than Eagles' courses, they came, and he shouted and called them and called them by name. Now Dasher, now, now Dancer, now Goodson and Prancer, um, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetops, the horses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished by ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks like roses, his nose like a cherry, his straw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was right as his snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly, then took when he laughed like a ball full of jelly. He was terribly a plump, a white jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him a sleigh message over the side, Merry Christmas to all, and to all our good night, Merry Christmas.